Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today we've got this Blue Shadow dual frequency wireless repeater the 5 GHz and the 2.4 GHz dual band Wi-Fi range extender can be used with any Wi-Fi router that runs under dual band it offers up to 300 megabits per second for a 2.4 GHz and 867 megabits per second for a 5 GHz network in a total up to 1200 megabits per second that's how you will enjoy a high speed uh, data transfer with this uh, repeater of course i'm going to test it i will perform a test two meters away from my router and 15 meters away from my router and that's how i will compare if my internet speed it will drop with this uh, extender or if it will be the same as my router and of course i will transfer some data from my server and see the data speed uh, at my local network well let's open to see what we have inside the repeater some manual if you want to read it is your choice but stay with me we're going to find out all about this product now we've got these two adjustable antennas find the right position that is more suitable for you these two high chain antennas are provide excellent wireless coverage in your home or office and even on a patio delivers a better wi-fi coverage well we're gonna find out that, that if it is true or not and that's how with the help of these two antennas you will enjoy a high speed other place where it's installed we've got the wps button one press and connect uh, with your router wps led and here reset button it is here there we've got then the reset LED, power LED, data LED and the signal LED. It will inform you when the signal of the repeater connected to your router it is good or not. Nice, I can say it is a small device, very easy to connect it at any place to your home and enjoy your internet. That's all that, I think it's time to make the setup connected to my router and see how it works and performing of course the tests now let's power it on we can see the leds the leds are flashing at the unit and we'll get notification connected to a blue shadow i will do this process from my smartphone now we need to choose the 2.4 gigahertz network the network of our router enter the password And finish. Setup is complete. Reconnect to the network after 30 seconds. And now we can see we've got the power is flashing, the data, signal, it is on. And the network is a test network HZ. This is the extender network, the 2.4. Connect. The password it is the same as the router. The name is different, of course. And we are connected. We can connect into the 5 GHz network. Same the password. You can change that at all time from the settings. And there it is. I have connected into the 5 GHz of this uh, extender. And of course you have the option to make the setup from your laptop or desktop. Choose the Wi-Fi of your uh, extender repeater. Connect. And it will guide you through this link and starting the setup process. Here you need to choose the 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz network of your router. You can choose a different name for the extender. And you need to enter, of course, and the password of your router. And next, and finish. That was all. You need to wait about 30 seconds. And now starting the test uh, 4 meters away from my router. On a 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz network, my internet speed from my provider is 100 MB per second download and 10 MB per second upload. And we can see on a 2.4 it goes to 73 and 5G it goes to 92. And to upload it is the same, it is 10 MB per second. Now let's see 15 meters away from my router. Okay, the speed is very promising, but it's dropping. On a 2.4 we can see it's 53, and on a 5G is 91. 
megabyte per second. And again on a 2.4 it has the limits. 5 GHz it is better and in the upload. And now we can see the speed copying some files to my server on a 2.4 it goes to 1011 megabyte per second and in a 5 GHz network it goes 14 megabyte per second. But the real speed it is about 45 megabytes per second on a 5G network. And on a 2.4 network it is about uh, 15 to 17 megabytes per second if I will perform the test directly from my router. It is an affordable uh, repeater. You can see down below to the description all about this product and where you can buy it. But it has the limits. It is not so stable. If you don't have a high demand from this repeater, well, just buy it. Definitely it will do the job. Otherwise, if you are going to connect many devices at this repeater, you need to consider to have something more stable. Well, guys, that was all about. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe. It takes only one second. Press the subscribe button and that is all. Share this video. You never know who may need it. Hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye-bye.